In this short video I'm going to illustrate how to draw a graph like this in Minitab, a graph that has several Y variables plotted on the same panel. So let's start by looking at the data. Here it is. My Y variables are all in separate columns. They're abundances of four different species. And over here I have status and site as the two grouping or categorical variables that I want to get and display averages for. So let's start by going graph, interval plot, and the type I want is the one down here in the bottom right, multiple Y's or multiple columns with groups. OK. So I've already selected up here species 1 to species 4 as the graph variables, and down here under the categorical variables for grouping box, the two factors, status and site. Now, the important thing is that I set the bottom checkbox here, graph variables displayed on innermost scale. Then over here under data view, I set on mean connect line, mean symbol, and interval bar. Hit OK, and then hit OK again. Now the graph I get here, is not looking too much like the graph I want, but we can start getting it the way we want it fairly quickly. First click on here, and then right click and select Edit Mean Symbol, over to the Groups tab, and check these two boxes. Assign attributes by graph variables, and apply attribute assignments to all data displays. OK. Now it's starting to look a lot more like the type of graph we're after. We have the four species all showing up as their own line with different symbols. But it's a bit confused and a bit messy. So let's start fixing that by double clicking down here on the scale and editing the x-axis scale. Turn for space between scale categories, turn that checkbox off and select a value in here of minus 0 0.90. Leave everything else as it is, hit OK. And now it's looking much better. You'll note that the symbols are still slightly staggered. The amount of stagger is controlled by that variable in here, the gap within clusters. If I set this to minus 1, they'll be completely overlaid. But in many cases, something like minus 0 0.9 or 95, leaving a small amount of spacing is best for cases where the symbols are very close together. Now the x-axis is still a bit messy here, so let's go over to Show and turn off the graph variables display. And now we get something that's looking very much like what we want. Finally, I need to change the error bar here to be the standard, which is the standard error multiple 1. And the display now is looking very similar to what I'd like it to be. Lastly, I need to use Minitab's selection system. Click once to get the all the points, click twice to get the series, click three times to get the individual point to finalise the display the way I want it to. So once, twice, gives me that particular series, then I can go over here and let's have a filled circle which is red for that series. All I need to do now is work through the rest of the series modifying the display to be the way I want it to be.